Welcome to Gajuai DIY channel. You're here because you want to build one of these bad boys, a beautiful Easter bunny basket for your Easter egg hunt. Well, you're in the right place. Stay tuned. Easter is nearly here. It's time to do them last minute projects to make your Easter very special. So what are we using for this project? Well, actually, we're going to be using pallet wood. I know, I know. Stop shouting, stop shouting. That's only good to throw in the fire pit. Well, you know, I don't like any waste and wood from pallets is wood like any other. It does need um, a bit of cleanup, but to be fair, we're actually going to leave it as rustic as possible for this project we're only going to need a few boards of pallet wood in your case if you've got it fine use it if you don't you can use anything else and another thing we're going to need is a dowel i've got this two and a half meter long piece obviously you're not going to need that much but i'll give you all the dimensions when you're actually going to get to it so let's get started so the first step what we need to do is to clean them up i'm using grid 60 on my orbital sander give it a nice sand not too much we want to leave all the features in it before i actually started it i made sure there is no metal in those so i took all the nails it's very important to make sure if you're using pallet wood or reclined um, timber you need to make sure before you start your project to remove all the nails on the screws any metal that may be in them as you don't want to damage your saw After sanding I'm going to be using my miter saw as you can see uh, to chop off the ends that you know are damaged or we're not going to be able to use for this project. In this next step as you can see I'm using my joint to make sure one of the edges on the boards um, are square and true as uh, the next step we're actually going to go to the table saw um, to rip the pieces to the correct sizes. So I've used my PC skills and I managed to come up with a bunny shape of uh, this description. So we'll actually have to glue up two boards together to achieve the, um, the size that is required to cut that design. So we'll do that now. Just gonna get rid of the glue squeeze out with my chisel. And now I'll give the board a bit of a sand. It's time to trace the pattern onto our board. To that, I'm gonna be using the carbon paper um, as I find this to be the best method. Uh, you get to save your template and you're not messing around with gluing the piece of paper onto the board and then trying to remove it later. So we're going to need a total of two of those. And now it's time to go to the bandsaw and cut out the shapes. The next thing we need to do is to make sure both of these bunnies are equally the same. 
And as you notice, my bandsaw skills are not the greatest by far. Therefore, I'm going to be using a double-sided tape, as you can see, to stick them together. And then we're going to go to the sanding station to make sure that they are actually exactly the same. And here we are back at the mitre station. The first cut we're going to do is actually on the um, the pieces in the shape of a bunny. We need to square the bottoms of them. And after that we'll cut to size the pieces that will be part of the sides of this project. So these are all the pieces we're going to need for our build. Two bunnies, a base, four pieces for the sides and a dowel cut to size. Here we're going to cut out the hole that will hold the dowel in place. It is the big time of assembly. I'm going to be using glue and a nail gun to put it all together. If you don't have a nail gun, uh, you don't really have to. You can just clamp it all together. It will be just fine. Or just screw it in. Whatever you're really um, are able to do. Right, so as you can see, this is coming out really, really nice. I'm quite pleased the way it actually looks. So for the next step, we're going to put a face on these from both sides. I'm going to be using my wood burning iron to do that. And after that, we'll give it a light sun and start applying the finish. As a finish for this project, I'm just going to be using some Brie Wax clear because I want to keep as much as the feature uh, from the wood on the project. So I'll give it about two coats and then buff it slightly. And now it's time to buff it out. Your very own Easter basket for egg hunting, eh? Kids will absolutely love this. Obviously, it's down to you how you want to finish it. You can use some poly, you can use some um, shellac, you can use really uh, any oils as well. I just wanted to make it nice, quick and simple. That's why I went with two coats of three wax on this. Nice and simple. Looks absolutely gorgeous. So I've still got some time to actually make this and if you found this video inspirational and helpful please consider subscribing to my channel as I do bring new content each week and as always thank you so much for watching, thank you for your time and hopefully I will see you next week, till then take care.